Picking up stitches, everything you need to know. Hi, I'm Alexis Winslow, and I'm going to show you how to pick up and knit stitches on a hand knitted garment. This is a skill that is called for in many patterns, and it's used for things like the collar on a sweater, a pocket, or the button band on a cardigan. I will show you the basic technique first, then explain how to pick up a larger number of stitches evenly across a long section of fabric. First, the basic technique. Usually, you will pick up stitches with the right side facing you. You will always work from right to left across the fabric, just as you would work the stitches on a needle. Also, it's easier if you hold your yarn in the right hand. To begin, Simply insert the tip of your needle into the fabric. Wrap the needle as if to knit. Then pull the loop of yarn back through the fabric. Just repeat these steps to pick up a whole row of stitches. If I speed this up, you can see this looks a whole lot like knitting stitches on a needle. Seems easy enough, right? Well, not so fast. If you're picking up stitches from the side of a piece, the process gets a little more complicated. The problem has to do with gauge. The number of rows on the side is not equal to the number of stitches you will need to pick up. Also, many times you will need to make an exact number of stitches fit perfectly into your piece. I'm going to walk you through a scenario that's pretty common so you can see how it's done. Here's my piece, and I want to pick up exactly 34 stitches along the edge. Using some removable markers, I'm going to divide it into four equal sections. I just fold the fabric and mark up the sections one at a time. If the piece were any longer, I would probably divide each section once more. I like sections that are around two inches or so. So now that I know the number of sections in my piece, I can start on the math. Now, the 34 stitches divided by my four sections doesn't divide perfectly into a whole number, so I need to find the next smaller number of stitches that does. Just keep going down until it works out evenly. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. That works out evenly. So if I pick up 8 stitches in each section, it will get me pretty close to the 34 stitches I'm looking for. But we can refine this further. Now, I take my original stitch number and subtract the new stitch number. This gives me the number of sections that I can add one more stitch to, so my row will equal 34. So in other words, I should pick up eight stitches in two of the sections and nine stitches in the other two sections. Once you figure out the division, write it down so you don't forget. Also, it's a good idea to check the math before you begin, just in case. At this point, you might be able to estimate an even spacing of stitches with your eyes. But you could take it a little bit further by counting the number of rows in your section and then doing a little bit more math. Let's say I have 12 rows here and I need to pick up 8 stitches. I can't just pick up one stitch from each row because I would get too many stitches. I need something that looks more like this. So let's figure out exactly how many of these rows I should skip when I pick up the stitches. 12 rows minus 8 stitches equals 4. In other words, I should skip four of the rows to fit eight stitches perfectly into this section. And finally, here's an example of a garment where I've picked up a large number of stitches. You can see I've used bits of orange yarn to divide my piece into sections. As I picked up the stitches, I placed markers on my needle between each section. Using markers like this is a great way to help you keep count as you go. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when new knitting tutorials become available. Thanks for watching.